Boom, hello everybody, welcome to the Walking Dead episode recap review, whatever you want to call it. Season 5 episode spend, I'll read you what the TV says. Rick and his group face a number of challenges while trying to secure their new home. Boom, that's it. That's what happens. Um, okay, well, uh, pardon me, sorry about that light, uh, so yeah, it starts off with Noah talking to, as far as in previous review, recap, whatever you want to call it, um, the congresswoman's name is Deanna, um, so he's talking to Deanna's wife, I forget his name, they mentioned it in the previous episode, I'm sure, um, Noah's asking him about meetings, he brought him some oatmeal and a little cup that you get coffee at your office, and he talks to Noah, or Noah expresses interest with him about him teaching Noah about the um, architecture, rebuilding the walls, palaces, fixing up stuff, people should know what you know for when I'm your age here, basically. So basically, Noah explains to him that he wants to stay here for the long haul. He wants to learn to secure it and fix up the houses. Guy says, okay. Puts out a notebook, writes down. He's like, what are you doing? He tells him, I write down everything. You should too. Turns out paper, hands on the notebook, and says, you should start writing everything down now too. Especially all the stuff I'm gonna teach you. Foreshadowing. Um. So then, Rick is walking around, and I learned the lady's name too, um, Jesse. Her name is Jesse, and uh, that's the awkward love interest that Rick has right now, in my eyes at least. He kissed her she, at the party, and uh, someone broke down her owl. He saw her work. Nobody likes owls. Someone doesn't like owls, she said, and she makes like it's not a big deal. And Rick says he'll ask around because he's a cop again. So they don't show him do that because um, Glenn, Eugene, Noah. Uh, I can't remember that kid's name. Uh, not Spencer, we'll call him. Spencer's brother, Je or Deanna's other son. And, um,. The other douchebag that I can't remember his name either. Basically, the two dudes from two episodes ago where they first get her and they go on the run, and they're the douchebags with the zombies that are like, Get killed. Four of our friends. We're gonna torture the zombie. We tied up to a tree. And you know how that went. Um, they're gonna go on a run to fix the power because the power's out in some of the houses. Um, Eugene has the thing he needs, and he basically says he's not gonna go because he's a coward. They make him go with them. Um, they secure the perimeter. Not, uh, not Spencer. Um, says Glenn is right, and they should look around to make sure. Because the other guy was like, <laughs> Plan B, we just call it the front. Because they're coming in the back, like, yeah, stupid, what the front's full of zombies like it was. Um, so they go into there, and, uh, a couple plot holes that I'll get into, and I don't mean to be negative, but these were some big holes, like, big holes, um, in my eyes at least. So they go in there, they look for zombies, uh, they find them behind a fence, look like a flimsy, flimsy fence, um, and then they're looking for the boxes with the things they need for the power. They find them. And um, I can't remember her name. Not Maggie, we'll call her. Because um, she was with the governor's group. The lesbian sister, I think. Um, she finds the box, cuts it open to make sure what's in there is what they need, they find it, and they keep digging through the box, when this is clearly a, sh a box shipped to this factory with those parts in it. This is what you need, this is what we got, take the box, get back in the van, let's go. No, let's sit here taking everything out of the box to make sure it's that, 
a zombie uh, gets out of that fence and it has a sprayed shield basically but it's military outfit not Spencer shoots at it and the face what are you thinking um, and then he shoots him in the feet and the body and he keeps shooting at him and oh lo and behold there's a grenade there or some kind of explosive shoot that boom they make it look like this is the thing and Glenn's right here and then boom and then commercial come back everybody's on the floor because um, there was a big explosion in a small warehouse Ooh, big holes here so what happens is uh, Glenn and Noah find each other because they were in, they all broke off into separate two groups of two um, they find each other they look over see that uh, not Spencer got blasted back and the hell has uh, shards of metal sticking out from the shelf like here Later you find out he got some in his stomach, his legs, so he's like stuck up against the thing. Um, Eugene and the other chick, not Maggie, were together. And for some reason she's on the floor, bleeding out of her head. Um, but Glenn is fine, Noah's fine, other dude's fine, Eugene's fine. Two people are injured. Um, they take... Not Rosina, not Maggie, the other chick into a office to look at her. She's bleeding out pretty bad. Eugene wraps her head. Um, not Spencer that's stuck on the thing. They think he's dead. Uh, he makes a noise. They look. He's not dead. He's just stuck on the thing. Uh, <clears throat> they make a plan to go get him. Other dude shoots a flare to distract the zombies off the thing. They go. Uh, Noah and Glenn kill a couple on the way with just knives. They get to the dude, he's stuck on the thing, and the other guy's like, hey, uh, you know how it is, bro. Our system. And uh, they're trying to pull him off. Which one? Okay, so big plot hole with the grenade thing. They're in a small warehouse. They couldn't hear shit after that explosion. They would all have trauma with the explosion because they were pretty close. Um... But yeah, they're fine. Um, they're trying to pull the guy off the thing. I know if they got him off, he had straight puncture. He's gonna bleed out and die. Uh, Eugene bolts for the door with the trick on his shoulder. He's not really a coward anymore. Um, not Spencer stuck on the thing. They try to pull him off three times. He tells Glenn that it, the other four from the two episodes ago... Um, didn't panic it was them uh, to confirm this Abraham's working on uh, getting materials to like construction to um, make the wall longer um, what happens dude goes to poop in the woods and uh, Abraham sees some birds and then gets into like a which my first thought was oh the way he said about pooping in the woods, somebody else must have said that to him before, and he went crazy and like beat the shit out of that guy. No, and then zombies come, and all these people can't shoot for shit. They uh, shoot a mechanism because they had a trick up in a bulldozer thing, you know, the part that uh, scoops up the scoop. And it knocks her to the floor, and they're like, let's go out of here. So basically, uh, these people, if you get hurt, fuck you. You die. Um, so basically, not Spencer tells Glenn that, that they panic and bailed on the other four people from the group. And then they died. Uh, they show him get eaten. Um, uh, Jesse's husband is an alcoholic, and... Um, Brings the beer over to Rick and it kind of just mentions like, oh, I heard your wife died. Like, yeah, thanks, Dick. Um, Sam, his, uh, Jesse's youngest son is with Carol. Carol makes him steal chocolate. He's bugging Carol about cookies all the time. And 
he didn't tell nobody about the guns, he swears. Um, he tries to talk to Carol a little bit, like, uh, did you like cooking before? Were you always a good cook? And Carol basically explains to him, or not explains, but tells him, like, um, what'd you say? That when she would cook, it would distract her from things that make her sad. Because, you know, her husband used to beat her, beat her kid, and... You know what I mean? Like, pretty white trash redneck family. Um, Sam asks if he could have a gun for protection. And she says, what do you need a gun for? And he's like, well, it's not for me. And she's like, who's it for? And then the kid runs out the house. So then, it... It doesn't end with Carol telling Rick that... Because he goes over to... Or Carol goes over to his house, to Sam's house looking for him, the dad answers, he's clearly wasted, he's got his hand on the door like this, and then it shows the back of his hand, and it looks kind of like, after he's been beaten on somebody, you know what I mean, at least to me, it's kind of shadowy, but it looked messed up, and um, then she says, oh, can I talk to Jesse, and he's, no, it's not a good time, and then closes the door, so Carol, being from a house of abuse, pretty much knows the signs, she goes and tells Rick, and then he's kind of like, bitch, I'll tell you. She's like, he didn't have to. So then, I'm like, there's only one way you could do this, Rick. You're going to have to kill him. And then Rick comes out the shadows, like. And then, um. So. Noah. Okay. Uh, Walking Dead's kind of racist. Um. So, you know how Noah was talking about how he wanted to be an architecture? Um, <clears throat> douchebag number two runs to the front, and uh, of course, there's a bunch of zombies there because they, they took the perimeter and the front was full of zombies. Um, they're revolving doors, which is really weird for a warehouse office, but okay. Um, Noah and Glenn are in one part of the door. He's in the opposite, zombies are on the other side, and they're kind of like, Are you gonna do this? Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. Not really hate these people bail when people get hurt, so get out, you know what I mean? But, uh, then Glenn comes, or not Glenn, Eugene comes in the van. For some reason, there's really loud dubstep techno music in the car. He's banging on the side. Hey, come here. Hey, hi. So, Eugene's not a coward no more. They showed him carry out uh, the chick. He's clearly put her in the van. Um, Glenn gets the idea that he's going to break the revolving door glass. Hits it with the thing a couple of times. Slowly it moves. That guy freaks out and starts squeezing out the hole. That pushes theirs back. Noah gets his foot stuck. That dude sneaks out. Noah's like, don't leave me, and then they pull him back. Glenn's there like, oh, fuck. Noah jumps on the glass, and they eat him, and Glenn's sister like, crying. Because, hey, they killed Noah, this guy got away. Um, that dude meets up with Eugene, and Eugene steps out of the car, and that guy like tries to get in the car. Eugene pulls his gun on him, too. Um, because he's like, where's my friends? And then, uh, as that guy gets the better of Eugene, here comes Glenn, quack, quack, help me put him in the back. Where's Noah? Um, and then it cuts back to Alexandria with Deanna. And here comes that father, Father Morgan, or not Father Morgan, the fuck's his name? Uh, we'll call him Satan, because basically he explains to Deanna about how Satan is disguised in light. <clears throat> and then he basically tells her a story about Satan being disguised in light. How you say this place is paradise. How Rick's group are bad people. And they've done things. And you shouldn't let him in there. Basically he's talking about himself. He's done a bunch of... He he let his group of church people outside the church and let them get eaten by zombies. So his wife died. So basically what I took from that is, okay, he's saying he himself 
as Satan disguised as a priest or a father. <clears throat> Maggie heard the whole thing. She was coming up the stairs. And, um, yeah, that's how the episode ends. Mid-season, or season finale coming up in two episodes. Um, sorry this episode, or this recap was pretty long. Um, stuff happened in this episode. Um, yeah, so click, click, click the thumbs up if you, I'd appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me, subscribe, because I'll do the last two, and then, um, I'm gonna move in probably two weeks. Hopefully two weeks. Yeah, one, two, maybe three weeks, I don't know. We'll see, but I'll be moving in the next couple weeks. Um, so I won't put out too much content, but I will promise you this, I'll do the last two Walking Dead episodes, um, Twitch is on every Monday, Wednesday, for Friday, uh, 9 to 11, PST, PM, in the night, um, so if you could follow me there, I would appreciate it, um, and then after I get moved and uh, Walking Dead ends, I will review the previous Walking Dead, uh, volume 22, I think, and, uh, we'll get into that, and, um, American Horror Story picks up this fall hotel. Pretty excited. I'll review that. Uh, yeah. Thanks for. If you got to hear, leave a comment. I'll maybe give you something. Peace.